In China, we this product, we are, our customer is the police uh, station. And um, here we can see they have different payload. And we can change the, from the camera to the remote control loudspeaker. If something happens in the highway, the accident, so there are heavy traffic, you can send a police car there. So it's better you send this one, use the camera. And the camera will take the photos and take the videos. What thermal imaging does is it detects and displays the differences in the heat that are around us all the time. And why would you want this on a drone? Oh, there's a lot of things you can do with it on a drone. Search and rescue is great because the body heat stands out. Um, if you wanted to use it in a firefighting application, uh, where I've done that uh, on a volunteer basis, is the incident commanders want to be able to see through the smoke and keep track of where their firefighters are in relation to the active parts of the fire. It's very effective at that. So it's for the farmers. It's very, very easy for use. It can be work 10 acres for one hour. So it's very, very fast. So it would spray, what, like pesticides or? Whatever you whatever like. You it can be fly by itself. You just need to put a point on the maps and he go work. This is actually a, a drone right here? This is a drone. It's probably, I think, the largest one at the show. This uh, drone is based on a, on a helicopter body, and this is for serious commercial work. Most of the drones you see flying around carry a few pounds. This one can carry many, many pounds, up to 340 pounds. We're building one to go on a shipboard for an Arctic exploration. So it's something you can fly off and fly, you know, 100 miles and back type of thing in order to uh, go out and gather data about ice, ice flows and things like that. Whereas these other types you see in here, they just simply don't have the endurance of the range to do something like that.